Even after the so-called skinny repeal was defeated, President Trump tweeted that the effort to repeal is not dead. And Phil and I asked former San Francisco Mayor Willie Brown if Democrats should step in and take action. The Democrats should have started some time ago, Phil, tinkering with those things that need to be changed. Because after all, that measure is several years old. And invariably, experience of use causes certain modifications to need to take place. Democrats should have been leading the charge to secure that, and they ought to be very active in it now. Well, I mean, part of the problem, though, is the things that are needed in the Democrats that I've talked to, in their estimation, are things that require more money and more subsidies and more spending. And so either under Obama, where you had a, a Republican-dominated Congress, or even now, when you've just got a sort of Republican-controlled government, the idea that you're going to be able to make those changes, even if you know what they are and you've got a 10-point plan, the idea that anyone's going to pass those and spend additional money, not, not the least, you know, <laughs> forget repeal, like spending more money is, is a big lift. But that's the dialogue you prefer to engage in. That's a substantive dialogue. It's the dialogue that will have a constituency that will be generated as a result of these new definitions of care. And believe me, you're in a much better shape and you're on far more solid ground to be speaking from that perspective. And the Democrats should be leading the charge. There will be some Republicans who will instantly embrace what they're talking about. Well, I, I, do, I will say this. The Democrats, I think, are within their rights to say, you know what, Republicans, you've been talking about repealing a place for seven, eight years. Mm -hmm. Let's lay back, let's be quiet, and see what you guys have, and let's expose um, what ideas you do have or don't have after all of these years of talking. We've had it. Fine. Now you've got the stage. Let's see what you can do and not present, uh, you know, a competing agenda just uh, yet. The Republicans have only wanted to abolish health care provided in the administration of Barack Obama. All they wanted to do was kill the program completely. Now, Phil and I asked former San Francisco Mayor Willie Brown if it's possible to get rid of the leaks in any administration. Absolutely not, simply because the person at the top starts the leaking. Whenever you want to get a story out early, you want to get your angle in, and you want to get a reaction, sometimes you have to call your friendly inside reporter. Well, That's a leak. <laughs> it seems like, though, that we didn't see this kind of leaking during the Obama administration, for more. example. You more. Really, there was more leaking. It was not advertised. It was not advertised. You don't think those stories were because reporters were going out doing shoe work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> they wait for it to come over the chances. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm going to take exception with that. First of all, we do a Thank lot you. of shoe work. And second of all, it's interesting you're talking about how he's talking about it, call your friendly reporter. Uh, President Trump just, just tweets it out. You know, he, he's taking the leak to But those a, aren't leaking. He is not leaking. He's broadcasting, Phil, when he does it that way. What you don't know about Trump, probably, is that he is constantly using his relationship. And believe me, I suspect that he had a relationship with both the two anchors on Morning Joe, because after all, they gave him always the first 15 or 20 minutes of their program during the primary involving Republicans. And he was most effective achieving the goal of getting the nomination. So you're saying he's the one who's doing the leaking? Yeah, he starts the leaking. Oh. He starts it. I see. Well, I mean, look, we've heard that there, there's issues with people getting buy-in, you know, having collaborative decision-making. When you do, when you operate like that in a very sort of top-down kind of operation, in, you get a lot of unhappy people who feel like they haven't been heard, their concerns haven't been addressed. And so even just bringing them in and, and pretending like you care what they have to say can go a long way sometimes. Well, Melissa... Sometimes the only way to get anything in the paper is to leak.